Well, Queen Lan, uh, we just heard of this in very interesting panel to start off the Shell Echo Marathon here in Detroit. Mm -hmm. And um, what surprised you more, like the actual event, the quality of this I, young kids. I mean, it's amazing huh? what uh, they, when they are thinking and, and like working on. Uh, I, I do find it a very, it, it's almost overwhelming, but it's almost like a surprising, pleasantly surprised. A good surprise, yeah. Yes, uh, by the talent that the younger generation has. And based on the essay, it, it was really great to see their passion for how they view the future in, yeah. in, in the space of mobility. So it really has impact on, on the car company, how we should be looking for things and, and engage with them. So here we just had like a few students, like maybe, I don't know, 10 students, but this is like a big event, 120 students from different countries and different perspectives. As we, we heard here, they're mainly from the U.S., from little towns, from big towns, and they have very different opinions of cars, mobility, technology. So this event, Shell Car Marathon, is a great, um, a great place for Ford to learn about what the next generation is going to be doing with cars, right? I absolutely think so. Not only just for Ford, but I think for the policymaker, the city planner, for the energy company, or, or the, even the government, the community. If they really wanted to know what the transportation should look like in the future, and they really should engage these young minds and, and try to understand from their perspective. So four more companies already working in some of these initiatives, not this exactly. I mean, I guess you're here with Shell, and I, I don't know if you have particular initiatives working with Shell, but you have this program that it's called, uh, or it ha includes 25 experiments. Smart mobility, yes. Smart mobility. So tell us a little bit about it, how this fits into this. Um, we have initiated like a smart mobility initiative, uh, which really touched down the innovation in connectivity, um, Autonomous driving, mobility, big data, as well as a consumer experience. So we have a different experiment that addresses the challenges in, in each of these areas. And I think a lot of the essay that they mentioned, how the future transportation should look like, or what kind of a fuel that we should be using, and things like that, we are all in, encompassed in the, in the scope of this experiment that we designed. So these experiments, obviously, as you mentioned in your presentation, some are going to fail, some are going to be very successful. Absolutely. Some, some That's what they call the experiment. <laughs> exactly. Right? So, uh, I mean, I, this just has started, right? Yes. I mean, oh, yes. like less than a year ago. Yes. But in this short time, has something already caught for motor companies' attention in one particular particular topic, maybe like mega cities or something like that? I mean, what's... Well, we are, we are working on some things that's already uh, in the process of a launching in a small scale. That's what we call the experiment or the pilot. Yeah. Uh, some of the car sharing in UK, that's already starting. They, they start small with a few vehicles. Um, and, and then we have a demo. And then we have uh, tried to come up with the scheme to find a uh, available parking spot using the sensor on the vehicle. Yeah. And that's in progress. But in order to do that, we need to team up with the, say, city, city of London, and to get that buy-in. And also, you have to know where the parking is available, but controlled by home, in order to enter that territory. So it's in the progress, but we're working with the city to make but that those, happen. Those things are going to be moving very fast. I mean, like the, the car companies, I mean, for 100 years almost, like did cars, mm -hmm. they, uh, they evolve a little bit, but not a lot. The past 10, 15 years, I mean, in this century, Everything has changed very fast, no? And these experiments are going to come into place in production of cars pretty, maybe pretty soon? Uh, I don't know. If a certain feature will be integrated. Yeah, yeah not everything, yeah. Right. Once we find out how it works, if it's uh, feasible for mass uh, production, absolutely, it will go into right away. Because the space of mobility is moving really rapidly. And if yeah. we sit still, somebody else will take over and, and run with it. So I think everybody is, is kind of moving into that territory. And then... <clears throat> For example, in China, the Daimler just announced that they, they're going to do a car sharing program in the city of Chongqing yeah. for six, you know, smart vehicle. So everybody's moving in, yeah. in, in that. But in, in terms of how exactly it's going to work out for the future product, and that's still in the works. Yeah. So you're more in charge of the Asia-Pacific area, Correct. you said, which yep. is like, I don't, I don't know, but mm -hmm. is, does, is that area of the world has the more megacities in the world? Yes, and, and China. Where, where everything is yes. needed more, oh, yeah. I guess? Yeah, yeah. 
and and, and the, the fact that the vehicle will be keep on growing uh, in terms of sales that and, and, and how congested those cities already are that brings a whole different set of problem yeah. so some of the things that may work perfectly in in the like North America or Europe may not applicable in in the Asia Pacific region yeah. India is another big country for example yeah and and since those markets are so different um, yeah. I mean you you can learn also I mean like and, and they're they're different and, and young in in the auto industry right I mean they're like I mean, there's been cars there for a long time, but like uh, more people are getting into cars faster than any other areas in the world. Yes. And that's going to help for more companies to develop this, I guess, in a, in a more Oh, absolutely. We, 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 we sell more vehicle, and if we make our vehicle something more attractive, not just about the product, but along with the service, then they will attract more customer. That's how we look at it. It will be the entire package and experience, yeah. not just the product itself. You were talking also about how former companies working with different entities, like private companies, like even Starbucks. You mentioned the, the that's fast one of the concepts. Like, yes, very interesting. Yeah, well, not just a Starbucks, maybe McDonald's or yeah. s some Any kind of a retail, yeah. right? So we were looking at okay, how a consumer would want it to do. If you have a, a fuel cell vehicle, you need to be it needs to be charged. Are you going to just sit by the vehicle, wait for it to yeah. charge, or can you do something? Now, if we can team up with the retail. And for you to do something while wait for the charging to happen, then more likely they will say, okay, Ford vehicle has that feature. Why don't I do this? While the competitor may offer the same vehicle, same feature, but you have to wait for yeah. it to charge. So that's some kind of a different business concept that we're looking at, business so model. It, it's, very, it's very interesting to see how car companies now have to think about not only making the car, but like how people are going to interact with the car. Huh? Uh, this is a basically mindset change. It, it becomes, it shifted from a product a company, you only build product and sell to the people, to the next step is to look at ourselves as a service provider. Yeah. You provide the entire package to make a people live better and quality of life is better. So that's what we are aiming for. At this event, Shell Echo Marathon, with these 120 teams from six different countries, I mean, they, they can give you a lot of good ideas, right? Absolutely. You have to pay attention absolutely. to them. So I, I, I think we feel privileged that we're part of it. Well, thank you very much for the time and information. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.